Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economic events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome back everybody. Let's take a look again on the forex markets. So yesterday as you can see performance was relatively slow um, and quiet and actually uh, we do not have something really outstanding for discussion. Uh, the one thing that uh, we need to adjust currently and in general take a look at the euro currency because uh, despite that market is showing up reduction according to our suggestion since uh, if you remember in the vehicle report, we discussed this upper prediction that was uh, rather strong, forming the bullish reversal vehicle on the vehicle chart. And uh, theoretically, by the market mechanics, uh, technically, it should get some continuation to the upside. That's what I'm actually considering right now. And this continuation somehow has started and stands under progress. But the way how it's standing right now and how it has started well, makes it not very attractive for taking position immediately. So our major concern here was about the starting point of this upper reduction. Actually, we considered two ways. So it should be some kind of, the, or could be kind of the ABCD first, forming regardless cheaper to buy, and then upper reduction should start, or it could just show an upper reduction immediately with acceleration and some upper reduction. So. And currently, it seems so that it, it's going on the second way, but the manner how it happens looks not very fascinating. Yesterday, also, you saw probably the reaction of the market on the announcement of the Moderna uh, vaccine, but uh, we just talked about it in the weekly report. So we will take a look at our table that we have shown in the weekly report. So these two vaccines, Moderna and Pfizer, Take a look at the conditions. Minus 20 degrees, minus 70 degrees, number of doses. Here is 500, 500 millions, so it's, it could be 250 uh, 100 millions could be injected by this because you need two injections, two doses per person. But take a look at the cost, $35 per dose. So that's why well, that's good news, of course, but as you can see, the reaction was very uh, shallow on this news. Uh, mostly, markets are waiting for AstraZeneca vaccine. It's very cheap, good conditions for holding. Normally, just in a simple fridge, you could hold this vaccine. Also, two, two doses per person, but an, an ability to produce more than the three billions doses uh, in uh, this and next year. So that's really very good stuff. So every, everybody is waiting for that. That's why reaction on the Moderna was very small. So uh, let's take a look again what we have on the te technical side. Potentially we have this ABCD passion and target of this passion, nearest target stands at the COP is 1940, slightly above this top and it could be, market could reach it because it stands below the overbought area. So it's nothing actually prevents market from the reaching of this area. But at the same time, uh, take a look how this process to the upside stands. It's very slow and gradual action. Uh, that's difficult to treat as continuation of this thrusting action. Because this very, well, it, it carries more features of the kind of the retracement. It looks like the more than retracement. Uh, personally, I do not like uh, take position somewhere in this type of action, uh, especially when we have no significant passions on our back. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe Indian market will show the acceleration later and will just starting the strong action to the upside. But at the current moment, personally, I am not. I don't see uh, this situation attractive for taking the long position. Let's take a look on the hourly chart. On the hourly chart, actually, we have here a small ABCD passion. And OP already has been hit. In fact, we have not got the head and shoulders. 
because market hasn't shown the deep retracement here. Back to the 1780, as we suggest, there was no the pullback and market just continue upward direction. Overall action looks, as I said, choppy, slow. You can see a lot of overlapping candles. So that guy's not the thrusting type of action, at least currently. And that holds me away from the taking the long position right now on the euro card. So if you have taken the long on some pullback, maybe on some initial drop to the 50% support last week, of course, you could keep this position, just control your result, move stops to the break even or even tighter, and you could, you could go with the market. But those of you who do not have long position and consider taking the long position, well, personally, guys, I'm not fascinating with the taking position right now on euro currency. Here we have, we have also minor at least cheap old two, uh, sell with the minor divergence. Well, uh, but actually, this is not the point. The point is that overall type of action that, uh, well, I doubt on this uh, action as upward continuation of the daily rally. So I think that for 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 upward continuation of this thrusting action, here should be different type of action. That's why I'm still not excluding the chance that we could get another leg of this drop so it could be deeper ABC retracement with the C point somewhere in this area and then we could get clear ABC upward action so for me that will be much better because you will have on the back the gutters triple to buy passion here and uh, that will well, will be good shape of the price action from the technical point of view what I see here well not impress me and Personally, I do not intend to take the long position currently based on the price action that we see. Maybe the latest situation will change. Maybe I'm wrong and market will accelerate higher. But what I see currently, um, well, not suitable for me um, for taking the long position. It's too weak bullish context that we have here. So we need something more. That's what we see currently in the euro. And I think that maybe it makes sense to wait a bit more today, tomorrow, and see what will happen.